In countries around the world, LGBTQIA individuals face oppression and violence just for who they love or who they are. Hi, my name is Kina. And my name is Sancio. That I needed for my sister to be in a space where she feels comfortable to be her true self. And also, I, we lean on each other. So it's like a back and forth support thing. She has always been that support system, like my best friend, my mother, whoever, because like she's the oldest, so she has that like parental vibe. I actually have a picture in my bag I wanted to share. I've always leaned on her because like you can see here, I'm leaning on her shoulder. Yeah, she's always been someone important to me. Like out of everyone else in the whole entire world, like I always relied on her and thanks to her, I'm here. Also, there's still the stigma especially in the Caribbean period, but specifically Barbados right now, this stigma around um, LGBTQ people and how it's, whether it's right or it's wrong, is heavy. And so you get a lot of discrimination, a lot of hate. Um, uh, you get attacked even for being openly a part of the LGBTQ community. It's like you're still suffocating at the same time, ironically, because like, there's so much stigma and like people just attack you just because you choose to love someone else, right? So it's a lot. It's not, it's not a way someone should live. If you've ever been in a situation where you literally felt like there's no way out of this and then you got this much hope, this much looks like this much. Right? And I feel like Rainbow Railroad brings that to people. It's like, okay, let me not give up. This is something. And then this something is like, oh yes, this is it. I have hope. I, I can get out of this. It's like, it ignites you to, it makes you want to fight. But it's like here because of Rainbow Railroad, like I can be my authentic self. and like truly represent who I am. And to know that this organization is doing that for like so many other people too, like that makes me feel happy because like I know I'm not alone. So Rainbow Railroad continues to grow as an organization. In 2022, we anticipate that up to 10,000 people are going to reach out to Rainbow Railroad for support. That is an overwhelming number. And so Rainbow Railroad's top priority is reaching out to every single one of those LGBTQI plus individuals who need our help and trying to help as many of them as we possibly can. Partnerships like the one that we've got with Mill Street are so unbelievably impactful on the work that Rainbow Railroad does. Not only do they bring important awareness to our efforts, helping more individuals know about the work that we're doing, but they provide necessary and critical funds, allowing us to respond on the front lines of the global LGBTQI rights and global migrant crises.